Another means by which we can, as humans, increase nitrogen use efficiency is via proper nitrogen application time. And so if you apply nitrogen fertilizers as close to crop nitrogen uptake as possible, you likely will increase nitrogen use efficiency. So oftentimes producers will apply some nitrogen at planting. Um, you might not want to apply it all at planting, but if you have no other choice, apply it all at planting. You can apply some at planting to help stimulate growth early in the plant's life cycle. You could side dress nitrogen during the growing period or growing season. And what this is, or what this means, is you apply a nitrogen fertilizer at a period when the corn or crop is growing rapidly and it needs nitrogen to survive, right? especially during rapid growth phases. You can top dress nitrogen. Again, this would be at uh, periods of time when the crop is growing rapidly. For manures, this is a challenge, unlike with inorganic fertilizers. Ideally, applying manure in the spring right before crops are planted is, I mean, it looks good on paper. You want to fully incorporate it to reduce volatilization losses. The negatives of performing this in the springtime, is oftentimes in the springtime across the United States, our soils are wet. And when you drive across wet soils, especially with a heavy load of manure, you risk compaction. And so oftentimes this isn't what occurs, right? Maybe you've seen this and maybe you haven't. I have seen this where manures are actually applied in the fall when the soils are dry and manure can be incorporated rather easily and you know you just try to incorporate it to reduce volatilization losses so let me share with you some pictures of what some of these things mean like side dressing and top dressing if you're if you're not familiar with these terms so top left hand corner picture is called side dressing this is side dressing nitrogen to corn and we call it side dressing because the fertilizer is <laughs> the fertilizer is being placed to the side of the corn plant itself. OK, versus top dressing, which is simply broadcasting across the, the in this case, corn. It looks like corn to me. Um, it's just broadcast application. So we're top dressing the fertilizer. If we're talking about men, if we're going to talk about manures. It really depends on when you are going to apply this manure. So here's a few pictures in the top. The picture on the top left looks like corn has been harvested and they're applying, it looks like to me, a liquid manure on the soil surface. Applying a solid manure on a soil surface that's not even present, it's covered with, <laughs> it's covered with snow, is likely not a great idea, okay? Why is this not a great idea? This is not a great idea because where's the manure going to go when the snow melts? Hmm. Would it run into a creek? Hmm, maybe. And here's another example of this is liquid manure application, but in, it's injected instead of surface applied. So let's take a look at some of these scenarios. So surface manure application versus injected. So let's talk about the picture in the top left versus the picture in the top right. And let's talk about this with respect to ammonia loss and what you would see, all right? So this is hours after, after application. If you surface apply manure with no incorporation, typically see these peaks and valleys and it's simply diurnal changes, you know, with temperature that with temperature increase ammonia volatilization. When you inject or incorporate, you see less variability. And you would hope that right off the bat, you don't, wouldn't even have to hope, I could tell you that right off the bat, your nitrogen use efficiency is likely greater with injected manure versus surface apply with no incorporation. Because look at the amount of ammonia that's already been lost. So your NUE or nitrogen use efficiency has already gone down. 